Hi guys, it's Wombat, and yes, this is footage from my BR230, the Trans-Amazonica Highway video. Uh, and I'm not here to rerun that video, and I'm not here to play on that map again. I'm simply showing you this because we're going to talk about one of the things I mentioned in that video. And, you know, let's take a listen to what I said. Throughout this haul I'll be using several different trailers and as it turned out it took me five separate jobs to complete the journey since there was no job available to me that could cover BR230 in its entire length. Well hold that thought for a moment because yes while it's true that I didn't have an application that could do this for me I do now. It's called the Virtual Speditor and what it does is that it allows you to choose a save from whatever profile you want to use and from that profile and that save it reads what countries are available on the profile, what cities are available and what cargoes are available as well as what companies are available in those cities you then select. It then basically writes into the save whatever hauls you want to create using whatever cargo you want to use, even what kind of urgency it is, uh, standard, faster and urgent. Um, so you can basically create your dream hauls. Uh, you can also create chains of halls going from A to B and add that as the first hall, then uh, another one B to C, uh, C to D, D to E, etc. And create a pretty long chain if you want to. Uh, and in my case then with the BR230 I could have used this one to create a hall for the entire length of BR230. Once you've downloaded the virtual speditor and extracted it, you end up with a uh, folder looking like this. Now I just put the entire folder into my, uh, my documents folder. So it's lying there next to my two truck simulator games. And when you double click the speditor file, you'll see a screen looking similar to this. Now if you don't, it is because you are missing something called Microsoft's C++ redistributables. There is a link to those uh, files as well. And if you click that link, you'll come to a Microsoft web page that looks like this. Now the Visual C++ redistributables are just a bunch of uh, files that a lot of different applications use. I already had them. My guess is that most of you already have these files. If you don't, just download and install them. There is absolutely nothing wrong in doing that. And trust me, because I would know, uh, even all companies in the financial sector uses these files. That's how safe or relatively safe they are. <laughs> At this point, hopefully all of us are able to open the virtual speditor. And trust me on this one, it would be a good idea to actually close the speditor again, because the next step is to select what profile you want to use. And the easiest way of knowing what profile you want to use, unless you have just one profile, is to simply go into your game start up the game using the profile you want to use and do a little bit of hauling and while you are there we're gonna do a couple of other things as well and the important thing to figure out here isn't really what city you want to haul from and to it is to find out what the game internal names of those two cities are and it's not necessarily the same as the name you see on the map. Uh, 
the easiest there are two ways of finding out what the internal city name is it is to either teleport to the city or actually just drive there and then go back to the virtual speditor and I'll show you in a bit how that works uh, to you go back to the virtual speditor and it will give you that name because the virtual speditor will see what city you are in and then go back to the game and go to the city you want to create a cargo to and once you're there go back into the virtual speditor it is a mess uh, but it's doable i prefer to just use the um, teleport function in game and by doing that i'll know what the internal name is because that is what your teleporting does so in this example as you can see i'm going to a city on eaa i'm on ross right now here we are on eaa and Brasilia. that's where i'm going to haul from so now i'm there and i've discovered the city so let's head back to the speditor and back here at the speditor uh, we have now the possibility to change or select what profile we want to use now if you only have one profile that shouldn't be too hard um, but I have um, I have a few <laughs> so to figure out what profile I want to use I need to go back to my file explorer and go to uh, my Euro Truck Simulator folder and then profiles and choose the last changed folder as the top folder which is this one it's the 6F6C that is changed um, two hours prior to this one and the day before this these two and the day before that one um, so this is the latest changed profile which means that this is the profile I was just using and there we have it now you also have to choose what save file you want to uh, save the new cargo to and that will of course then also be the latest changed file which usually is the autosave file and it also is the autosave file in my case so i'm going to select the autosave file press ok and then load and since i know that this is my big map profile it's going to take a while to load it because it's going to go through all the cities i have all the countries i have um all the uh, different um, companies and cargos that are available so it's, it's not like it's gonna take half an hour but it could take about a minute to to open that profile here we are and again this is my big map profile so um, as you can see it doesn't take that long and the first thing you'll notice is that it does says brasileia which is the country I, and city I was in when I quit the game. So now we know, for those of you who didn't know, that the internal name for Brasileia was actually Brasileia, uh, that it is Brasileia. And if you know where you want to go, um, you can ju then just go over here. And I know that I wanted to go to Vorkuta. Now, depending on what city you want to go to, uh, you may or may not find it on the list. And if you don't find that city in the list, it is, it is because it's using a different internal name than you see on the map. And in that case, go back into the game using the same profile, of course, and drive to that city um, and once you're there, quit the game, go back in here and the virtual speditor will then have that city here as the source city instead. And that's how you'll then know what the internal names are of both the cities. Of course, then you'll have to move that source name to destination instead and add back in the name of the first city you visited. Then we have cargo 
and it's the very same thing with cargo it, it uses the internal names of all the cargos so you may or may not recognize many most any of these names i do know that i want to use my dolvario uh, cargo in this case it's a pretty heavy cargo because I want it to be a challenge so I'm gonna go with the heaviest one uh, there is this one as well but I've never seen this in game I'm not entirely sure it even works I'm gonna go with this one and then you for the source city need to choose which company you want to add the in my case Dolvario uh, cargo 2 and I'm gonna go with EAA log which is a logging company of course and then you have company in destination city i'm gonna go with the quarry i'm not gonna change urgency because it, this is gonna be a 20,000 kilometer haul so I'm, I'm pretty good with just going like a regular haul but you could use uh, faster and even urgent if you'd like to add it and here is my haul now once i'm back in game i'll find that in the city of Brasilea, I'll have in the company called EAA Log a Dolvario 88 available for me to haul to Varkuta and the quarry in Varkuta. Unfortunately, I can't see how many kilometers that is. I don't know why. It's possibly a limitation with the Virtus Speditor. I don't really care. I know it's going to be a very long haul. That's the only thing that matters to me. Uh, and at this point you can if you like just click the save button uh, or you could as i mentioned earlier create a chain of halls and as you can see the virtual speditor has already uh, changed the source city to Vorkuta, which is the destination uh, for this the first hall so all i have to do now is possibly change the company I want to go from I could do that um, but I won't uh, and change the destination to a third city and that could be I don't know Zurich then select a company in Zurich I'm gonna go with a doll another doll Wario for that and again source city has been changed now to Zurich so I only have to change destination and company and well cargo if you'd like to add a third uh, haul into these chains which means that I'm going to go from Brasilea to Varkuta from Varkuta to Zurich from Zurich to Vuktil etc etc however there are limitations to this I think that these halls are only saved in the save game for 72 hours they are only valid for 72 hours which means that in my case it's absolutely no idea whatsoever to add more than these first haul because this is gonna take a lot longer hauling from eaa to ross than 72 hours but that's it let's head back into the, let's save this and head back into the game and back in the game there it is there is my bridge my pretty heavy bridge um, so just as any other cargo set as GPS destination and continue because you have to haul there first or travel there first that isn't supposed to oh there we go um, so I'm just gonna head over to EA log and my cargo will be there that's how simple it is really i need to add the gps to my truck again i can't i really don't understand where my gps uh, what happened to it i used to have a gps in the window and it's it's gone um never mind i'll add it again before we go there's a couple of limitations i want to point out uh, the most important perhaps is that the virtual speditor only works with the freight market which means that it won't work with the cargo market or quick jobs or external uh, contracts it 
only adds jobs to the freight market. It does however work in multiplayer as long as you use a uh, standard trailer or a trailer that you can use in multiplayer. Another important thing is that you can't use or you should really not use the virtual speditor and at the same time be in game because your speditor will overwrite your save file uh, and then when you quit the game that will overwrite the save file which will cause conflicts. So make sure that your speditor is closed when you're playing the game and that or at least you don't save it while you still are in game. Another great thing about the Virtus Peditor is that it is heavily modifiable. You can do a lot of things to the config files for this mod. Uh, and that could also result in that in best case your virtual speditor doesn't work anymore and in worst case it will totally destroy your profile. So uh, I'm using it as it is. I'm not gonna try to, to do anything to it. Um, for instance, uh, one you'll also see that you will only find uh, CDs and companies uh, that have available jobs already which means that if I'm only using EAA I won't necessarily see 470 cities in the list because not all 470 cities have available jobs for me um, but it's a minor limitation uh, and it's easily easy to avoid if you just go to both the cities you want to haul to and from before going back into the virtual speditor and creating the route. Now as you can see I'm making some changes to to my haul because I want as few ferries and as short ferries as possible. So I'm not gonna take those two long ferries crossing the entire Europe. I'm gonna go this way instead. Now I don't have Promsona. If I did I would add that as well and then just have the ferry from EAA to, um, to Europe. But of course since I don't have uh, the, um, uh, the uh, Promsona uh, I'll have to go with two ferries but it is a almost 20,000 kilometer haul and now if you'll excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and totally enjoy that haul so take care guys and I'll see you next time bye bye